Welcome to my first video. I'm Chinese. <laughs> this is my brother, Shari, in the back, and we are going to the first <laughs> um, communist village on the road trip. Here we go. Hold on, everyone. So we are going to get to the village in a second. And I will show you around. As you can see, it's quite nice over here and we rarely see anyone on the road because, you know, right now with so much coronavirus going on, so it's hard to see people around. So I'm going to show you guys around and here's, uh, you know, the first beauty on the left side, that's the regional like government uh, building for Xiaogang village and so as you can see everything is quite nice over here and here's uh, another um, company industrial company so it's actually quite nice the environment is very um, different in concern to you know how like how other Chinese villages look so this place um, is normally packed with um, Chinese tourists you know although it's the first uh, communist village but it's quite interesting you know back then a lot of people you know obvious from the start you know of uh, communist thing so like people started to work together so they didn't really own places the, the government owned a bunch of uh, fields and such and farmers lands so a lot of people started to work together um, and then afterwards they would get a meal voucher they use that to get food and such normally this place we have tons of people around and you know chinese people come here a lot i'm sure most of foreigners they don't really know this place um only if they they are interested about communist um, things then they might know this place and come here but it's quite interesting it's literally a, a small village but everything as you can see everything is very nice and clean over here it's very different from the other parts of so it's very different from other villages in China normally Let me show you guys all those lanterns the red lanterns that's you know obvious we just uh, had Chinese New Year so that was the decoration you know for the Chinese New Year tons of uh, lanterns and such so I was going to tell you guys in, about the coronavirus here in China since you know right now I'm located in the village so not so many you know people are worried about this coronaviruses but from the start we were forced um, to stay inside at home all the time because the local government blocked the roads and then they have have vehicles drove, drove around to tell everyone stay inside and bigger speakers announcing the news and such just pretty much trying to you know protect everybody and and make sure you know make sure everyone is safe i guess some were protected from the virus so you know right now most people are staying inside their house even in the countryside because they think that's um, the safest well it is you know somewhat safe um and you know the the more, more interaction you have with other people then you know the more dangerous it gets and uh, in general, people don't like uh, villages so much. They prefer to go to the city and walk there or you know, buy a house in the city. Because, I don't know, in Chinese culture, they consider a village is some water low, like low level thing. So, 
you know, most people they would try to buy a house, and in the city as soon as they can once they make enough money. But as you can see, not uh, you know all the life, um, not. But as you can see, not everything is bad in the countryside. It can be nice and pretty well maintained, as we can see. In here, you know, the first uh, communist village of China. So, once the coronavirus is over, I can show you um, of the other Chinese countryside and such. You will be able to see um, the some of the local cultures and such. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about China or Chinese culture. Oh, you know the countryside, the city, anything, and just let me know, and I will be glad to answer your questions. So anyway, um, I just want to say, no matter where you are, please um stay safe and try to stay inside if you are in those affected areas, and just be safe. Let's say, um, I guess once this thing is over, then. Um, I will be able to show you guys more interesting stuff, and um, see you next time. Bye. So as you can see, my brothers and sisters, uh, yeah, I guess they're quite um, Chinese, you would say. Anyway, um, let me know if you, you have any questions about how Chinese people act and such.